Indonesia picks, they don't have as much as damage that Indonesia has. Yeah, at this point, if you are Guam, you're going to have to find a way to at least cater to the absolute aggression that Indonesia has been showing ever since the first game. And we've seen that, especially with at least 14-0 or 15-0 game number one. So hopefully, if you are Guam, uh, you, you've found at least a way to get a couple of kills before it even starts. And if you don't get kills, you cannot get killed in this very first five minutes of the game if you want this to go to the later portions just like their composition in the very first one yeah and in terms of early game damage you could already see it in indonesia you have the brody you have the suyu and you even have the Lu Yi is known to just pick up the pace the moment the diversion is there but look at this potential combo coming in from sans but doesn't really pull the trigger and now you can see albert just going inside the jungle of Guam and this is where it starts. This is where the early game pressure starts for Indonesia. Just look at how comfortable Indonesia is. They don't give a care in the world on whether or not they're seen by the rest of the members of Guam. They just want to go ahead, unleash hell towards them and here it goes again. Uh, another camp stolen from Guam and in Indonesia. They're pushing their advantage inside the jungle of Guam and this is not good if you're Slopsy. You want to be able to at least be between levels uh, 1 or 2 uh, against Albert here because the moment you give the Suyu a 2 level advantage or a 3 level advantage, that's where you surrender these uh, turtles, these lords quite fast because the retribution damage coming in from the Suyu is just definitely insane and right now we could see that they're going in for the trade inside the jungle of Indonesia as the turtle is a freely given away to Indonesia. Yeah, at this point in time, uh, they're really going to have to find a way because, again, they, these are some certain objectives that aren't really, really going to the side of Guam as of the moment. Indonesia freely getting those objectives as much and whenever they want to. So this is starting to be a problem similar to game number one where Indonesia is getting free reign and not only that, even Albert is getting a lot of those as well. Getting those objectives simply while not even getting anything in return. And look at this, Sans and Luke just going at it. Zokata Zen pops the Revitalize, tries to survive for a bit more, and Luke might just bite more than he could chew. That's going to be a one for one trade, but looks like the Alpha will be able to take one kill. Slopsy Ow. goes down as well, and JBS, they got to escape. The heals are there, but it's a two for one exchange in favor of Indonesia. You know what? You know what, Wami? If, if you're Guam, it's the first point on the board for you. You finally got a kill. You finally got at least something out of that fight. So this is something that they could definitely build up on in the middle portions of the matchup. And not only that, right? You give or you gave Secret an assist to at least get that gold up. And hopefully they could do something about it. But again, they need to find an answer towards Kiboy who has those who has both of the kills of indonesia and he's someone that guam is starting to struggle to take down given that the lack of damage that they have with secret not having enough damage output look at this lopsy taken down to half hp kiboy has to dash out and this is what guam is doing right now they're trying to protect the jungle but looks like in the bottom lane a 2v1 setup the Brody ultimate doesn't really get one, but that's two from Secret. Sanguine Claws lands and Kiboy in the zero bush here. JBS low on mana, but here comes the taunt and the combo. Kai goes down and Kiboy with a revitalize just keeps everyone alive. Secret in a 5v1 setup burns the flicker as well. And there you go. Three people down for Guam in Indonesia once again going oh, no. for that winning team fight. And in a 5v1 setup, Zukata Zen gives himself away as well. That was uncalled for. I feel like that was a bit too much already. Yeah, uh, Zukata Zen just found himself in the mercy of, you know, Indonesia being surrounded by his opponents there. I mean, he had the right intention. He wanted to go for at least uh, uh, Albert, given the HP already was low, but Slopesy is gonna go down this time around. My goodness, just because of one team fight alone, it has completely um, even extended or widened the gap 
of this game so yeah. far. Turtle going basically to their side and they know what they're supposed to do. Yes, Guam would have one kill at least, but Indonesia's looking forward to stop them with just one. Yeah, the flicker burnt as well for Luke. They were really uh, wanting that kill against Lopsy. They want to keep the pace. They want to continue the aggression. And they don't mind burning a couple of flickers if that means that they could make this diversion play inside of the blue buff bush or the purple buff, rather. Slopsy, here comes another round, a two man stun. And it looks like Kai will be still mm. surviving with the dashes. And the dive might just go bad here for Indonesia. Luke goes down, and Secret is able to stay alive. A two for one exchange once again in Indonesia they come out as the victors but then again those are a couple of shutdown kills that Guam really wants basic MLBB fundamentals here you see the concept of trading here from Indonesia yes it was Luke going down and that's already the second death of Luke who by the way is using a kind the EXP lane but he has utilized a lot of those heavy spins to the benefit of Indonesia and they have managed to get a lot of those HP bars going down which has developed them to getting at least a 7k gold lead that you currently see on your screens 9 to 2 in terms of kills as well so you know Guam is starting to take their time as to how they would be able to at least or hopefully extend the lead but Indonesia picking up the pace by getting most of those objectives possible and not only that even uh you know playing very aggressive by taking their lives even under the turret if they want to and the flickers are up once again for the playmakers in Indonesia. Luke and Kiboy has that flicker. They could potentially pull the trigger here, but they are safely taking down the turret instead. The turtle will be spawning in five seconds, and that will be the last turtle of the game. And potentially Indonesia doesn't even care for it. They want a fight in the mid lane. Here comes the heavy spin. They do find Slopsy, but looks like the angles are a bit off and the retributions are called. It's just going to be a turret for Indonesia. Yeah, at this point in time, they are somewhat going to be safe. That's a turret going down, just like what you mentioned. And not only that, oh no. if we're looking for something here, I mean, Guam brought a turret down. That's something that they could hope for very well. But Indonesia has had uh, Kai in his traps. He wanted to stop him as soon as he can. And they were able to, but Guam still gets something. And if you take a look at the composition in the late game, you have a Sicilian, you also have a Harith. I feel like they're good to go for like the wave tier, but all they need to do is the damage. And Indonesia is doing their very best to make sure that that doesn't happen so they won't have a hard time in terms of the late game. Yeah, and if wave clear is the game here for Guam, their main wave clearers, such as Kai and Secret, cannot die, cannot be sacrificed in the long run. They need to farm these waves because they cannot go outside of their pace right now. The Lord is already up. Uh, I think Indonesia opted to wait for the Lord instead. They did not get the third turtle. They waited for it to mature into a Lord and uh, got that big objective instead. And now Zuka to Zen, a half HP already. And you can see that the power spike coming in from this Brody is already felt well secret still has to farm for quite a bit yeah you see the damage output that both kai and secret are landing towards luke it has been completely ineffective which is why you know zagata Zen wants to go at it but to no avail oh my <sighs> goodness there you go. The torn apart memory cannot dodge that at all. And another kill goes to the hands of Indonesia. Slopsy goes down. Now it's a 3v5 scenario with the Lord marching down in the mid lane. This might just be Indonesia's GG push nine minutes in. 10 seconds for Zukata Zen. Slopsy, 10 seconds as well. And they're already pushing without the minions even crashing in. Here comes Albert. JBS goes down. Heavy spin. A secret. Able to flick route. And goes in with the bat's impact as well. Kai burning the Zaman force. And here here comes the Lord. Avatar of the Guardian lands on one and Slopsy able to survive immediately. Luke goes down into Katazen as well. The Lord able to shred down a bit of the base, but looks like Wom is defending for quite a bit. Yeah, they're trying to find a way to still keep this in play. Minion waves both at the middle, top and bottom. But that might be taken care of by the side of Guam. They will be able to survive unless they do something a little uh, risky here. So Indonesia 
not going to pull their strings together on offense and Guam is going to be able to keep it together and this is the scenario that we've seen from a while ago where they've lasted for at least 10 minutes. They're looking forward to extend it to even more of that but Albert in Indonesia already with yet again another 14,000 gold lead less than or a bit more than a minute to go for that Lord to spawn and they're going to have to find a way again. Look at this. Oh, and that is the way that they have found. Secret goes down, and here comes the heavy spin on the two. JBS and Kai, they're out as well. That's two people down for Guam. Make that a wipeout, and Indonesia goes in for the clean sweep. Just like that with the diversion play, the series ends. Oh, that was unfortunate, man. They, they, they had Guam's hopes up. Like, for the first time in this series, they were able to defend the Lord. They, they were actually in a pace to be able to do something in the later portions of the game, maybe 15 minutes in, where the Sicilian would scale, where the Harith would get all of its items. And then all of a sudden, Sans just said, you know what guys, we know where they are. Let's just go ahead and use that version so that we can take them down and finish this game. I mean, just like what Wami has mentioned, it's gonna be a long day, so let's make this one quick. Right? And that is yeah, it. And, uh, it's a sweep for Indonesia. And I think the worst part for Guam here is that Sans might have pulled. And again, we haven't seen the diversion. We just saw it from the minimap. This might be that one angle where you can't even see the diversion. Like there's like you, you could put it right across the map yeah. and you'll just spawn inside their base. I feel like that's what um, Indonesia d has done in that final play because I think Guam was really caught off guard. They didn't expect the entire team to pop up at all. And out of all the people that could have died immediately in that fight, it was Secret who fell down in that first few seconds. And that's very unfortunate if you're the side of Guam, mainly because you're looking to the Sicilian to carry you towards a late game. And for you to die in the first second of that fight, it's just crushing for Guam. Yeah, it has to be, you know, a, a gut-wrenching if you're Guam. Because, again, just like what they said a while ago, you had most of the tools to be able to defend yourselves against the possible waves. Uh, super minions, to be specific. The secret is starting to get at least those two items, even gum as well. But that is quite unfortunate. Because when you take a look at it, both um, Secret and Kai are only at 5.2, 5.6k gold lead, but when you take a look at the other side, CW is already 4,000 gold lead above, and then you also have Albert who's at least 5,000 gold lead, gold lead ahead, so at this point in time, you know, Indonesia, they're somewhat delaying it, but they're letting Guam delay the inevitable, they can't really do anything about it as of the moment. Yeah, and uh, for Guam in this entire series, they have been thoroughly crushed by Indonesia, but their hopes aren't over yet. Like, we do see more, uh, a couple of more teams that they could fight against in Group A. So, after this Indonesia game, I feel like they could uh, go to the tapes, watch.